Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Carlisle Plain Budgeting. Today, we're going to work on our um, unstuffing of our week one envelopes. See how we made it through the first week of August. I am your lovely hostess, Pat, and I am so excited that you're going to be able to join us today for all of these fun, exciting things. It is truly fun and exciting times when you're trying to balance a budget and prices of everything fluctuate so much. But one of the best parts of having our little budgeting plan and our family getting together this week is because we see how everybody's doing. We can see how other people are handling their budgets and the roller coaster ride we're all on. So join us for our roller coaster ride as we unstuff week one and talk about some of the things that we encountered this week. Um, as you know, my husband definitely likes to have everything paper and pencil. Um, and so we keep it all in this little sleep notebook. And as we're tracking and seeing where we spent the different money that we use for our cash envelopes. Um, it's all right here. Now we do a combination of virtual stuffing and cash stuffing. So this week um, that you see is highlighted in yellow. These are the things that were actually paid this week. So when we paid our HP Inc. virtually, our Walmart virtually, and our bank loan virtually, it came to $505.52. Now, when I say virtual envelopes, that means that I am using my debit card and I'm going right to you know, Walmart or the bank where we make our payments or HP Inc. and I'm making a specific payment to them. I don't withdraw the money and pay in cash because many of companies, as you all well know, um, it's easier to pay them online because your credit card or your bank loans are not, necess not necessarily in your hometown. So it's just easier to do it virtually. So rather than take the money out of my account and then redeposit it, I just do a section for our virtual spending and then I do a, a section for our cash envelopes. So that's why you see the, the various columns today. So we budgeted last week when we stuffed our cash envelopes for $180. Now, as you can see at Winn-Dixie, we spent $24.63 at Walmart $71.57. So when we added up what our actual spending was for our, virtual, our cash envelopes, it was only $176.20. So as I'm unstuffing my envelopes, again, track as best that you can um, with what you have because it makes it easier to remember later, where did I spend that 10 bucks and how much did I spend at Walmart? If you're tracking it, you don't have to go back and try to remember later. It's just once you're in the habit of doing it, it makes your life a little bit easier. So when I went to Winn-Dixie and after I went to Walmart, I had $4.80 left over. So here's my $4 that I'm going to roll over. And if you're new to budgeting, roll over means I'm just going to keep in the envelope and add it to my food budget later. But I am in a savings challenge where any change I have left over, I put right in my little red cup. And when that's filled, we're going to use that for whichever one of the debt snowballs that I happen to be working on. So with our food budget, I'm going to have $4 left. I'm going to just change this 80 to zeros. So when I stuff my cash envelopes later, um, I know that I have $4 rolled over. And then, of course, with our gas budget, we went to BJ's and we filled our tank for only $50. I couldn't believe it. I was having a little excitement jubilation dance by the gas pump this week. Um, so I put $50 in and that left us with $1, which I'm rolling over. So when I stuff my envelopes, we're all set. And of course, we were blessed not to have to use any of our emergency fund. And of course, you know that we just, our debt uh, snowball, we're able to keep that money in our debt snowball and not have to worry about it. So I've got everything recorded and tracked and we have finished and finalized week one. And we came ahead with $4.80 this week. Um, but if the reality is, is remember, um, with my paychecks, every week that I get it, I have $892. My virtual envelopes were $505.52. So when I do that math, I'm left with $386.48. 
My cash envelopes were $176.20. I'm going to roll over this $210.28 back into my, um, keep it in my bank account for now and roll it over till next week till we plan and stuff our next set of envelopes. And that takes care of unstuffing week one, everyone. Thanks. Have a great day. And welcome to the family if you're hitting subscribe right now. Looking forward to seeing you every week. Bye-bye.